and through the tutorial I'm going to show you how to declare a function on Arduino application. So first of all, of course, you'd like to go and download Arduino application on the browser that you are currently using. Of course, it could be Brave, Opera, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, uh, Firefox, or any other browser you could be possibly using. If you don't, ha if you do have the Arduino application on your phone, oh, oh sorry, on your PC, this will be great. But if you don't, just go and download the latest version if you want. Go or even download uh, my version if you want, which is 1.8.1. Or you can even download whatever version you uh, you want, because everything will work uh, in this tutorial. If you have any version, it will work in this tutorial. So let's just go back to the idea of this video on how to declare like a function. So let me tell you first: there are two required function on an Ar in an Arduino sketch, which is as you can see, void loop and void setup. So other functions must be declared, uh, created or declared outside the brackets of those two functions. As an example, a, let's say as an example here, I would like to declare a void, sorry, a function called like multiply. So uh, this is not how you write multiply. So uh, let's use an example and this uh, of course we would like to add this two parentheses and add this some spaces here and here so let's use an example we already first of all like declared some int a equal one close this some int b equal like two do this and some int like mo and just do this so let's use an example. This void multiply. We will multiply the a uh, and b. So here, just go and do this. Mil a equal a b and close it, of course. And of course, if you want to call this function now, we can call it like on a void loop on a void setup. Just go type the name of it. So multiply. Uh, okay, and of course do this then this so let's just go and verify our code So yeah, I have a problem here I Added another like one so let's just verify it again So as you can see all good and that's how you actually add a function and call a function declare a function and call a function so that's actually for this tutorial i hope you like it thank you guys for watching goodbye